Hello everyone! In this video I am growing two types of lettuce using hydroponics. That is growing the lettuce in water rather than in soil. The method I'm using is also known as the Kratky method. If you want to know more about the Kratky method I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. So here I have two types of lettuce, bib lettuce and green ice, both from Burpee Seed Company. It says here that the bib lettuce takes around 75 days until the plant is ready for harvest. The green ice says it takes 45 days until it is ready for harvest. So I started the seeds off the way I usually do in rock wool. Make sure to soak the rock wool first so that it is saturated with water. I use five cubes for each type of lettuce and I have the bib lettuce on the left and the green ice on the right. The seeds look very similar to other lettuce varieties I've planted, so I keep them in their original packets so I don't mix up the seeds. If you transfer your seeds into a glass jar or other container for storage, make sure to label them so you know which is which. I'm using a plastic container to start the seeds. This container came from the supermarket. I think there were cookies in here once upon a time. The plastic is food grade and it comes with a nice tight fitting lid. I have some water in the bottom of the plastic container to keep the rock wool wet and to make sure it doesn't dry out. Once I have the seeds planted into the rock wool, I put the lid on and wait for the seeds to germinate. This creates a mini greenhouse for the seeds and they seem to love the humidity. The paper towel is there to keep the rock wool cubes from shifting around or falling over. I don't want to mix up the two varieties so it helps to act as a separation between the bib lettuce and the green ice. Okay, it is one week later and let's have a look. You can see that both varieties have germinated equally nicely. I only planted one seed in each hole since I knew that these seeds were fresh and I've had a high germination rate with them. It is suggested to plant more than one seed in each hole when you plant and then you thin out the extra plants. But I don't like to do that with lettuce since I have a very high germination rate and I really hate to thin out and throw away the extra plants. It seems like a waste to me. I plant 10 at a time, so if one or two don't grow, I still have eight. Okay, here we are at week two and it is exactly two weeks since I planted these in rock wool and I transplanted them into mason jars filled with hydroponic solution. I have at least two other videos that show how to do this, so if you're not familiar with the process, please go ahead and view those videos and you will see how it is done. But basically you need some sort of container, a mason jar or a Folgers coffee jar, anything that is food grade and will hold your hydroponic water. The water I use is not just plain tap water, it is mixed with nutrients specifically made for hydroponics. I use the Grow Big formula from Fox Farms. It's easy to mix and the lettuce plants seem to like it. You just measure two teaspoons into a gallon of water and shake. It doesn't get easier than that. So at this point, two weeks into the growing cycle, you can see the plants are doing really nicely. Both the bib lettuce on the left and the green ice on the right. Okay, let's take a look at the plants at week three and the plants are still growing nicely. Okay, now it is week four, four weeks since I planted the lettuce and you can see they really took off in the past week. Both types of lettuce are growing very nicely. You can see they look different. The bib lettuce leaves are smoother and a darker glossy looking green. The green ice is a lighter shade of green and the leaves have a nice curly ruffled look to them. By the way, these plants are growing under fluorescent grow lights. They are T5, two feet long and are 6500 Kelvin, which means they give off a blue light closer to daylight that the lettuce plants really like. I covered the jars with aluminum foil to keep out the light so that the roots stay nice and clean with no algae growth. I don't have to change the water or add to it since these mason jars are big enough to contain all the water the plants need for the entire growing cycle. Let's have a look at the roots. You can see how nice and white the roots look. So here we are at week five, five weeks since I planted the seeds and that is usually how long it takes for my lettuce plants to be ready for harvest indoors. I know it said on the packet for the bib lettuce 75 days but I never have to wait that long. 
Both of these were delicious. I normally grow the black seeded Simpson lettuce, but these gave me the same results. Really nice for your salad. If you plant these every 10 days, you will have a lettuce crop ready to eat whenever you want, depending on the size of your family and of course how much salad they eat. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I love hearing from you and I appreciate the feedback. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It helps my channel grow. And thank you for watching. Bye.